it's too it's too concentrated, man. It's too concentrated. Hey, AS Octopus, thanks for the uh, gifted subscriptions. Thank you, thank you. Slash marker new greedier. Have you read the Greek myth of both of these? Yes. Yes, I have. Why is everyone saying oh god forgotten greedier? He's uh he's the best character in the game. He's so easy. You'll see. <laughs> it's so annoying, really? The streamer lacks critical information. It wouldn't be the first time. But look at this, man. Oh, I was just going to say, free crawl spaces as the day is long. Middle finger emoji, please. Middle finger emoji. That's, that's an insult. <laughs> Thank you for the middle finger emoji. That one goes to you, Ed. <laughs> I mean, like, we... We should get it, but like, when you throw him over the ledge? Is it even... Is it possible? <laughs> okay, just, just chill, just chill. You can do it, you can do it. Oh! It, it's totally gonna work! Ooh, come on. Dude, I think if we have more speed, we can actually do it. Like with 0 0.8 speed, I'm not sure if we can generate the momentum. But I think if we got some extra speed, there might be a chance. Turn on no clip or more range, maybe? I, don't, I, I think if we get speed, we can do it straight up. Got to slip between the lines. Sulfuric tears? Like, are you joking? You could just take Abel. Yeah, I will admit, like, it's pretty insulting for Abel. That, uh, like, I could take him for free, but instead I'm like, nope. That's gotta hurt. It's like if, if uh... You know, you're complaining about, like, nobody's asked you to prom, and then you go, like, you know, uh, well, we could go together. And then she goes, that's all right, I think I'll just stay at home. And I go, oh, 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 And then you stay at home, and you see photos of her at prom, and you're like, what the heck, man? Oof, oof, oof. I think I'm starting... Is this what's wrong with Tainted Forgotten Greedier? You know, it's very hard to keep pace with the amount of enemies that are spawning here. This is... Okay, good to know. Good to know. Knowledge is half the battle. I will say we're very strong for the first floor. But the first floor is the easiest floor. So it's not going to get... It's going to be a stretch for it to stay this easy over time. Are you speaking from experience? No, I went to prom and like, I don't know, like, it was fine. I, I had, I would describe it as an okay time. It happened, yeah. It was the last time I saw 98% of my graduating class from high school, which was pretty sick. And I got to eat um, some delicious Greek food at the banquet hall. And apart from that, it was just like, it just sort of happened. Oh, like you're doing right now? Dude, I'm, I'm gonna take mini mush. So that I can maybe get prayer card.
I was on prom court. What the heck does that mean? Prom court. It sounds like a show on TLC. Prom king and oh, you you decide who gets prom king and queen. We didn't have that at our at our prom. But again, I, I've just established that my school is a little wonky. Our valedictorian was not actually the highest academically minded student, but was just elected. Man, if we had Abel, that realm would have popped. Yo, this looks like it sucks. <laughs> Ooh, these are all great. I actually, I feel like, I mean, this trinket is amazing. Don't get me wrong. But uh, I feel like we might be better off with the locust. Just for, just for the start of this. I'd like to gulp. No, no, no. Okay, fair enough. It, well, I wouldn't say it does nothing. I would say the, we gulped it. <laughs> give me out, give me out, give me. I know, I know, I know. But it was worth it to get out, man. We lost two spirit hearts there, like probably against the only two champion enemies. Stay away. Yeah, I don't know, maybe it's an Ontario thing. I saw somebody else in chat talking about how like they also live in or lived in Ontario and uh they didn't have like a, a formal prom king and queen either, or formal valedictorian. I don't know, man. Beats me. You might be right though. Trade offer. Uh I think that we would be feeling mighty nice if we got PhD this early. Ah, why not? Let's <laughs> let's see what happens. <laughs> well, great start. Wait, do yeah, we can smack the we can play baseball with it. Let's go. Okay, don't die. I for, I forgot we get to play baseball. If we can live, man. If we can live. Please. Please. This is a cool item. Or a cool synergy, at least. Also is like a colossal... <laughs> range upgrade. I'm gonna die. I'm not gonna... I'm gonna die. Okay, try again. Try again. Send it. Try again. Hey, dburk 92 thanks. <laughs> thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you, thank you. All right, you're right. Uh, tainted, uh, tainted, forgotten, a little tricky. I didn't go to prom, and now I'm watching you. So who's the real winner? I don't, look, I'm, I'm a, I think I'm on your side. I'm not sure if that was an, a, like an own, but I, we're on the same side, I think. Um, I mean, when people are like, you know, I, I genuinely, sincerely, it, I mean, I, I talk about it like off camera to like the people in my life that I love. But I feel like if you were like in, if you were somewhere between like 16 and 20 years old during lockdown, you got screwed. Like you're missing, not, people focus on things like, like high school graduation and stuff like that, you know, prom. But I really feel like it's more like the day to day, like, you know, socializing you do on your way to becoming an adult that, that is way more important than just like an individual event. Like, there, there's a, uh, like the, oh, I just stepped on the button by accident. But I feel like even more so than like graduation as a single day, missing out on like a year in the dorms is like, that'll change your life. Now, I will say, it might change your life for the better. <laughs> it's probably a, a few people I know in my life who, if they hadn't lived in the dorms, you know, when they were younger, maybe they'd be on a trajectory they would... Let me put it this way. If you could give them the, the Gwyneth Paltrow sliding doors, they might be like, I would trade. But, I think, you know, there's a... 
there's people on the other side of that as well. Either way, it's like, you know, you really don't get the opportunity to have that. It, it, you know, it's not like life's not worth living without it, but you, you, you don't really get the opportunity to do something like that, like, ever again in your life. It's not like you can... Like, you know, don't don't let me act like a hater here, but it's not like you can go back to college when you're, like, you know, 40 and live in the dorms and have the experience you would have had when you were 18. People are going to look at you like you're a criminal. I remember, and <laughs> I apologize if this gives anybody a complex, but I remember um, in, in my first year of university, there was a guy... Well, there was a man in our grade, or in our in our year, I guess I should say, who we always just like we're like, man, what's that old guy doing in first year like biology? And then, you know how old he was? Twenty seven. <laughs> but when you're at that age, you know that that makes a huge difference. The difference between like a twenty seven year old and an, and an eighteen year old, like it's. I mean, when you're 18, you look at someone who's 27, and you're like, whoa, they've got their life all figured out, or at least should. When you're 27, and you look at somebody that's like, you know, 27, you're like, you know, we don't know anything. <laughs> Which is fair. Anyway, that's... Uh yeah, it, it makes a big difference. It, it, it's an extra, like, 100 or extra 50% of your life. Not to mention, like, you gotta keep in mind, you don't even... I've been a big proponent of the idea that, like, in terms of, like, you know, your personality... Like, I'm 32, but I really only started living when I was, like, 13. So, really, I'm only, like, 19. When you go to college as, like, a freshman... You've really only lived for, like, three years of your life. Like, in terms of, like, the, the things that are going to have a... They're going to define your personality. I'm not doing a good job of articulating this, and, and many cognitive scientists would probably disagree with me, but I don't know any cognitive scientists with 7,100 people watching them at any given time, so, you know, who's the... In, in, the, in the marketplace of ideas, who's the real winner? Blank is not so bad. We'll just we'll just skip that D100 temporarily. Temporarily forever. <clears throat> Jeffrey Bezos. Okay. Good trinket, please. Nobody knows what it does. Isn't this for hush? <laughs> you did it. Owned. It opens, it opens Hush. Okay, amazing. Thank you for the spirit heart. Hush and Pandora's box. Dude, can I tell you, by the way, I, I for the second time in a row, I got imposter syndrome, like, uh, last night. Clint S uh, Stevens was streaming. I'm not familiar with much of the Twitch ecosystem, right? But I saw a lot of people tweeting, like, Clint, C Clint Stevens is streaming. So I checked out his Twitter feed to see what he's up to, and um, he made a tweet in February that said, if I was Jeffrey Bezos, I would just submit my recipe to Wendy's and then work sarcastically as a fry cook for several years. And I was like, this guy made my joke Four months before I made it. And then also made it in a... Sorry, resume, not recipe. Yes, he, he said it right, by the way. My mistake. Um, he made my joke four months before me. And then also made it better. And in such a way that he got no blowback for it. Like, that's... I was very, I, 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 it, it became Salieri yet again. I, I thought that this stream was all about me becoming the Joker. Instead, I've realized that I'm actually Sam, uh, Salieri from Amadeus and also from real life. But, but I don't know him in real life. I only know him from Amadeus. I'm going to turn into Salieri. Oh, frick, you're going to make me turn into Salieri.
Think the Joker ever had imposter syndrome? He's like, I wish I was as smart as the Riddler. Bad. Decap attack, chuck away. Were any of those real words? Not really. Okay. <laughs> what do you get? With this is this is stolen from uh, chat, by the way. But what do you get when you cross a society with a composer who's talented but not as talented as another composer? You get what you freaking you disgust me, Schubert. What the heck? What the heck am I doing? It's... <laughs> this is going to become the most powerful run of all time. <laughs> you did it out of my head, man. Okay, here, there we go. There we go. Chuck away, Meryl. Chuck away. Yeah, now get guillotine. Let's let's do it, man. I'm not scared. I'm hip. I'm with it. I'm not the Joker. I'm not Salieri. That's fair. Yeah, I'm not sure the synergy actually has any synergistic benefit at all. But on the other hand, it do be looking funny though. I mean, canonically, the Riddler found out Batman's identity in the comics. Okay, you're not gonna like this bit. This bit's gonna get a lot of minus twos, but it's mostly because people's feelings are gonna get hurt. When people talk about the comics of canon books or cinematic universes, it always makes me laugh. Because people are like, actually, the real thing that happened in this fake world is... I'm gonna become Salieri. You get what you freaking deserve. <laughs> Redeemed. Redeemed. Necropolis. Well, yeah, we got we got six items, man. How are we on Necropolis already? Incoming Pandora's box. What what happens if you have Pandora's box plus blue key? Don't lie to me, Walt. Six items? Alright, that's pretty litty. <laughs> so many people said six items. <laughs> One person said like a billion items. I love it. Whoops, I've hit the button. No wonder I'm getting no money, man. By the way, I know people are going to want to know, NL, recently you mentioned you've been watching the 2014 Hayden Christensen, Nicolas Cage movie, um, Outcast. How's that going for you? Uh, I made it about 40% of the way through last night. The female lead has just tossed Hayden Christensen's opium pouch into the fire. And then she said, tears of the poppy dull a man's senses. And then Hayden Christensen said, Some things are better dulled. Which he, I, everybody, despite the movie taking place in Three Kingdoms era China, um, everybody has an English accent. Nicholas, it, it, it's so funny to me that like, for some reason, Hayden Christensen, a, uh, Canadian and Nicolas Cage, an American, are putting on British accents to speak English in uh, Imperial China. But anyway, try not to think about us. It, it, it wasn't built to stand up to that level of scrutiny. Okay, it is probably better that they're doing an English accent than a Chinese accent. That's true. 
That would that would be a remarkable movie for some other reasons, I suppose. But it would, you would, I don't know about that one. Um, anyway, it's kind of like the death of Stalin. I suppose that's true, but I always thought that that's just like uh, Armando Iannucci's thing, or whatever, however you pronounce his name. I apologize. Thought it was just like you know, all this dialogue just sounds better in a, in an English accent. This is, uh, this seems bad. This seems bad for business, man. Please just kill this guy, thank you. You look dead on my screen. <laughs> nice try. Why don't you use an English accent? I can't because, uh, first off, I'm not, I'm not sure if you know this, but, uh... There is no such thing as an English accent. There are dozens of them. The only thing they have in common is they all call trucks lorries and mistakenly think that uh, what you put your groceries into on your car is named the same thing as uh, what you wear uh, in the rain on your feet. Because you got, you always, you got like Oliver, oh my God. You got Oliver Twist, English accent. Uh, please, sir, can I have some more? I'll buy you Tuesday for an hamburger today, I will. And then you've also got, like, you know, uh, stiff upper lip, Jeff, you know? There's at least two English accents. Yeah, then there's, like, going, Jermaine! The ginger beer here! <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. These all sound Australian? What are you talking about? You don't lie to me, you Aussie baka. I think I think we must leave. We need something more. Watch this. Donk! The Los Angeles Lakers have signed twitch.tv slash Northern Lion to a seven-year $84 million contract. Swish. Just something in my head says, says, says to me, we are going to get Pandora's box here. We're also going to buy a key for no reason, but at least it was half price. Like, I'm almost thinking we should just reroll as much as possible. To try to get it. Don't buy... Oh, what are you doing? Don't don't buy things by accident, man. Um, suplex is, is fun. I just... I don't trust myself to use it with the existing setup we got. But let's meditate on it for, for a little bit. Let's meditate on it. Hanged man... Chaos card for super greed is, is pretty sweet. Um... I, I don't see us using it right. I think this is a reroll. Please be two of diamonds. Ace of clubs. It's not even freaking close, man. No suplex for you. Three years. We reroll again. This is pretty good. You did that for one bomb? Look, I'm a busy man, okay? I got things to do. Could have used it on enemies. Look, I don't know if you know this, but like I'm I'm flying the space shuttle right now. I got a character that I throw that becomes a character that becomes a character that becomes a character. I also don't want it to uh, screw up my uh, my coins. Because I would rather have coins than bombs right now. Because coins could be anything. They could even become bombs. Dead eye doesn't work for you? I think it does. It just doesn't work when we when we throw our head. So it's bad right now. 
but it could be slightly less bad in a little bit, like if we just leave it on a boss and just smack over and over. We're gonna die though, so I wouldn't I wouldn't worry too much about it. <laughs> I'm really glad right now that I don't have like something that could kill all the enemies and turn them into uh, useful consumables. Cause it would just it would make it too easy. Can't you turn off the waves for free? Um, yeah. If by free you mean with the progressive opportunity cost. I'm not trying to be rude. It's probably worth it. Don't get me wrong. Okay. We pulled ourselves out of a mess a couple times here. I believe we can do it again. We start there. <laughs> Spirit hearts? <laughs> the coin loss is, is only for the last? I don't think so. I think when you step on the button, don't you get less coins on the next wave? Fewer. Oh, my mistake. Boy, I sure hope somebody got fired for that blunder. I'm just correcting you just so that nobody else corrects you in the future, because that would be embarrassing. No, but yes. Yes. No. Just get him. What? Did you see the shot? We have 13 cents. So you're saying there's still a chance to re-roll into half price Pandora's box. It gives us six items, one of which could be the R key. Ooh! <laughs> bit spooky there. I think, I mean, this is where comedic timing is uh, on display, clearly. But I think that this is probably the easiest wave that we could be going up against right here. No, no, no middle finger emoji yet, please. What a shot. It actually killed one. <laughs> no, no, no. Come this way. Yo, what a shot, though. This spacebar item is kind of bad. Wrong. It's very good for me to poop on. Okay. That's unfortunate. Um, Scarred Womb. That I wish you saw. I guess we're going down to the next floor. Okay, if you only lose coins by stepping on the button as the lost, then... I think we should step on the button constantly. That seems like a great play. The chariot. I can fly? I don't know why I'm being so saucy about it. I'm drowsy. Something's wrong. Okay. Not not good enough. Not good enough. Thanks for the money, Lebowski. We have a key. We take our key. I will remember where the haters were. Once you're a hater, you can't go back. You're stuck there for life. Pandora's box incoming. Blank chaos card. I can't believe I got hit. 
Give me my batteries. Give me my batteries. Oh! I got one more. I got one more in me. All right, haters, you won this one. Where's the batteries? Where's the batteries? We got one more. This is a, you're right. Tough character. Um, but I think, I mean, I'm just, I, I feel like we're built different. I think we got a great chance here. Should have stuck with decap. Look, I don't drink decaf. I don't stick with decap. This is a good joke for me to poop on. Ooh. Fruity plum, bouncy friend. Slow, a slow fall slips less. And we step on the button every wave. Tough characters never last. Only tough people last. I did, by the way, I, I read half of the article that exposes the, um, those weird recipe hack videos and how they're all, um, associated with this, uh, Las Vegas magician who also somehow managed to position himself as, like, the emperor of Facebook video content and, like, controls access to, um, being able to, like, monetize and promote your videos on Facebook. I will say, I, I, I didn't read the whole thing because I really thought it was going to be, like, less than 2,000 words and it was more like 10,000 pages. But I read the uh, I read some of it, and I I was like it's a little crazy for sure. The interview was just it was very weird. Like they interviewed some of the people that are involved with those like like the weird nacho and the cursed spaghetti like food hack TikTok and stuff like that. They all sound in the interviews like they were coached to be Stepford Wives. Like, every single person giving the interview has almost exactly the same answer to every question that they're asked. Which is just like, we're just doing it for fun, I don't understand. Like, we're just trying to brighten people's days, and I was like, this is... It's just giving off, like, a bit of a strange vibe. When I read it, I, I just felt like... I felt disquieted. I'm not saying it's a cult. Just the, the, the vibes were, the vibe check was, did not pass. Let's put it that way. I'm not not saying it. Yeah, I, I like, I'm so out of the Facebook ecosystem. Like, I don't un even understand. Like, I didn't know who this guy was before. But I guess, like, he's so good at gaming the Facebook algorithm that, like, there was a coordinated campaign to, like, mass report his pages to try to just not be recommended them. Like, I guess, like, it, Facebook pushes them so hard that people are, like, the only way out of this is to, like, uh... You know, is to, like, get him kicked off the platform or whatever. I did, dude, so I, I, whoops. I deleted my Facebook account, like, I don't know six months ago or something like that and have missed it zero percent i would take that i would consider um but i did laugh today john wolf fellow uh youtuber and streamer was like here's how bad facebook's recommendation engine is and it says like you might enjoy this group uh and the group's name was i and i apologize <clears throat> are we piping the same slute <laughs> Which is just hilarious. <laughs> and he was like, I think that Facebook uh, is bad. Oh, I should have taken that. The reason I didn't want to take it is because I thought we were going to take Alabaster Box. Then I realized, like, I have no money. I mean, sometimes you got to know. Yeah, you're not wrong. Hello, Justin, by the way. Welcome, Justin, to the show. HCJ guys. I mean, I'm just saying, if you get invited to that group, I don't know if I would have the willpower not to check it out. We gotta avoid, man. We gotta avoid. Secret room slot machine combo? No, that's fine. I don't like winning anyway. 
I'm checking it out right now. Owns. Secret room cannot be there? No. Yes? It is nice to see y'all. Oh, it's nice to see you too, Justin. Hello. You sussy buck. <laughs> Realize once we reach the end of the week, um, I don't have any commentary left. Like, I'm just, it's just, just firing, man. It's just firing. Luck and speed. It do be a Friday. That's the thing, man. Nobody's getting any work done on Friday, myself included. You show up at the office. You know, you're supposed to start at 9. Oh, whatever. It's Friday. Maybe I'll start at like 10, 15. Anytime your, your boss is trying to schedule like, uh, you know, like a corporate potluck or something like that. A seminar. Always going to be on a Friday. Straight up, they're, they're work from home and me on Fridays. So I gotta tell you, I, I did read an article that um, millennials are quitting their jobs rather than face the indignity of going back to the office because work from home is, is freaking sick, which is definitely true. I feel like a traitor millennial, but I need you guys to go back to the office because some of you have gotten too comfortable over quarantine. You've, you've gotten too familiar. You've, you've forgotten how to socialize politely with strangers. I need you to get back into that office environment at least a couple days a week to remember what it's like to, to talk to people not in the internet space. It would really help me out. I understand I'm being a millennial trader right now. I'm just saying I think it would benefit both of us. Maybe next year? I'll, as long as there's a timeline, I'm okay with it. Okay, I will not. <laughs> oh, son of a... <laughs> you got me. That's a good idea for us to poop on? Come on, you didn't get you didn't get a consensus. You don't get to say for us to poop on without a guaranteed consensus. Help, help, help me. The enemies are too charging. They charge, they're too charging. There we go. I'm only being half serious because people disagree with me. But before I realized that I was in the minority take on that one, I was 100% serious, but, but things have changed. I don't know what any of these items do. I think that's cool brimstone. I don't know how to shoot it, <laughs> but it do be cool though. Oh man, the baby is mighty upset. I don't know if you can hear her, but I can hear her. We're going even further beyond. I don't even know if this will work for us, but it's where we're at. Your baby's mad that you are a class trader? Baby, shut up. It works out in your favor. I told you. Just chill. I'd rather have stats. Three luck. Now we're talking. Mom tattoo? All the things she said, all the things she said, running through my head, running through my head, all the things she said. That's from a band called Tattoo. I wouldn't expect you to understand. You've been working from home for too long. What have you planned for meal prep? So I will say, it's not really meal prep. Because the way, the, what I would think of meal prep is like, you know, on a Sunday you cook like a bunch of curry and then you eat it for lunches throughout the week. It's more like just having some recipes on hand to replace HelloFresh. I, I'm honestly very much looking forward to this weekend. By the way, don't forget to use some uh, cool brimstone. Oh. Very much looking forward to this weekend. 
uh, looking at some recipes and uh, and figuring out what I want to cook now that the, the cursed Hello Fresh arc is over. Okay, Brimstone. Holy Brimstone is gonna be sick, but it's not quite sick yet. Our bone is still more valuable, but against bosses we have to be more defensively minded for. This is gonna be a big help. Why did you stop HelloFresh? The meals are inconvenient to make, which is the whole reason I won't, like I don't I don't have a problem cooking. I certainly don't have a problem following a recipe. Um, so the meals being inconvenient to cook is like the kiss of death. This is the whole reason I opted into the service to begin with. You were doing it for the wrong reasons, to be honest. Big ups. I, I hope the HelloFresh Corporation calls you back. I will... I, you, I'll, do you have a username on the platform, like a referral code? I'll, I'll send them a customer service report that says, Hey, uh, call off the dogs. Your number one fan is in my chat. Hope she sees this. Sorry, that's rude, but also kind of funny. What are you going to make now? Honest answer, like, whatever I freaking desire. No longer am I stuck with, um, you know, hey, because here's what annoys me, okay? Like, last night, they also, they try to do fake healthy food. So, like, last night, you know when your pause is over. The, they have, uh, the recipe is like salmon in a creamy chive sauce with roasted sweet potatoes. But it's supposed to be, because I saw the old recipe on their website, looking it up, it's supposed to be regular potatoes, but instead they made it sweet potatoes. I can only assume for gl low glycemic carbohydrate reasons. Unfortunately, sweet potatoes cook like garbage in the oven. They get little burn marks on the outside of them before the inside of them actually gets soft enough to be pleasant to eat. With regular potatoes, it's no problem. And it's like, it's basically, instead of being beholden to the menu that they've created, I can just do uh, what I want to do, which is the best of all possible worlds. That's where I'm at. And also, like, I'm tired of, like, every meal from uh, HelloFresh requiring a sauce. Like, why am I making three sauces a week, man? That's, like, I don't mind making a meal with a sauce. And then eating it for dinner or lunch a couple times. But, like, making three meals a week with sauces is, like, way too ambitious for something that's supposed to be convenient. It's madness. I did not forget about Holy Brimstone. Mere seconds ago, we audited the damage on Holy Brimstone and found out that for the time being, our bone is still much more advantageous. The air fryer is sick, don't get me wrong. I, I would have cooked the sweet potatoes in the air fryer. However, the baby was sleeping, and the, the one big negative about the air fryer is it does sound like a jet engine, so... It's just, uh... It's an untenable situation there. See, like this? If Holy Brim had gone off there, anything could have happened. It do be loud. Just put the potatoes in the microwave. Yeah, just pay HelloFresh like four bucks for two sweet potatoes and then just nuke them in the microwave and ruin them. Thanks, Jim Kramer. Appreciate the financial advice. One, here's one easy tip to go broke, giving your money to a Switzerland-based corporation for tax purposes. I take nothing. Take both. I will not. I will not. On Curse of the Blind, you take nothing. So I'm looking forward. I, like, I don't have much of a to-do list this weekend, but my to-do list for this weekend is like... I'm gonna look at uh, recipes. I'm gonna I'm gonna find some that that work. The other thing about HelloFresh, and we do have a dishwasher, but like 
The dinner from HelloFresh sometimes uses like a baking pan, two mixing bowls, a, a pan to actually cook the food and then make the sauce. You're, you're absolutely right, by the way. That's the play. Um, and then like a cutting board, sometimes maybe even two cutting boards. Actually, wafer is useless. Okay, you're absolutely right. I, I would like to return the wafer, please. So like it almost filled up my whole dishwasher. Uh just from dinner and that's not including like all of the the baby stuff that we use throughout the day i'm not a fan like i'm i'm not being facetious like i know people are always like oh no, baby like no dinner took an hour to cook why don't you just get your mom to make you some mini pizzas instead i'm just saying like you know we're at a very limited amount of time For not just for chores, but for like leisure time as well. And HelloFresh is like is bad for all of it. The food is okay, but then everything else, excuse me. Right. Everything else, like the amount of dishes it creates, you're like, dude. I'm like a, a one cutting board, like pot pan, two plates sort of guy. Once you start getting like 12 mixing bowls involved, that's where I'm like. Maybe on a on a Friday, Saturday, Sunday for sure, but on a on a Tuesday night, like come on. I actually don't know like who uh, who HelloFresh is made for. I think if you want to, if you don't really know how to cook, and you hate the grocery store, then maybe there's a case there. Or if you are. If, if you and I have the exact opposite personality and eating the same meal two times over the course of a week makes you feel incredible psychic pain, then I guess I could understand have like that's an easy way for you to get some variety into your menu, but it, it doesn't bother me at all. Someone said HelloFresh is for people with depression. You Tell me you've never used HelloFresh without telling me you've never used HelloFresh. That's so false. You have to be an extreme type A personality in a manic phase just to work up the courage to start doing the HelloFresh. Like, it's... Because you know it's going to say, like, 30 minutes on the thing, and then it's going to start with boil 10 cups of water, and then... I don't need... I, I, again, this is like, you know, play the world's smallest violin. But, um... I... You know, it used to be, like, the, the whole selling point with this stuff is, like... You can make nice, healthy meals at home, but it's more convenient because you don't have to chop. But now, I'm chopping. I'm, I'm spending like 40 minutes chopping. Well, not 40 minutes, but <laughs> longer than I'd like. It's for depressed people to break out of their depression. How many people, raise your hand, please. How many people in this chat work for the HelloFresh Corporation? HelloFresh, uh, capital G, lowercase mb, capital H. How many people work for HelloFresh here? We appear to have uh, a lot of HelloFresh employees in the chat. I'm not saying you can't express your opinion. I just ask you to make your, uh, your conflict of interest known. There's less food waste. Yeah, it, uh, there's a little bit less food waste. Like, instead of throwing, like, the uh, arugula you don't eat into the compost, instead you're just tossing out, like, 40 extra plastic bags every week after a dude in a gas-powered Hummer delivers you uh, a cardboard box full of garbage. It's, it's really good for the environment to poop on. Dude, how are you still alive? Anyway, long story short, I'm uh, I'm excited for the the post Hello Fresh era to uh, to begin. I think it's going to be a big quality of life improvement. I this is not it's not exclusively like anti Hello Fresh either. I used another service that that was local to Vancouver for a while uh, until I said, why am I doing this? And we canceled that as well. 
And then we got HelloFresh with like the baby, thinking that maybe it would be convenient, and then I quickly learned the error of my ways again. No bombs. Okay. No, not Spud. I think Spud is like they just do uh produce, right? They're not like a uh they're not a meal kit. They're they're just like, you know, fruits and vegetables. We still get the Korean service. We use that for like the non Hello Fresh meals weekly. We're just replacing my my cooked Hello Fresh uh, experience with like, you know, in, instead of having to follow a uh, fourteen step recipe on how to cook salmon and mashed potatoes, I think I'm just gonna like you know do it instead. And just use butter instead of sour cream. And you know what? Maybe if we, if I make quesadillas, it's fine. We don't need to make quesadillas with like a bespoke, freshly zested lime crema. I think we can just get like a jar of salsa from the grocery store and then use it like six times. I think that's like, I think that's better. Plus, I'm looking forward to not eating green beans for like the next two months. I think that's gonna be a big, a big help. <laughs> just so many green beans, man. Okay, that's big. That's big. We are on... Oh, we're, we're gonna die. There's a free item? Where? Green beans with root beer extract? Someone's been watching the Pioneer Women. My shadow? So by free, you mean it costs us one life. I'm realizing why we have so many HelloFresh fans in the chat. Look, I'm not anti-green beans. I feel like I'm being slandered. That's so good. A little bit here. I don't mind the green bean. It's just like because they're cheap, they seem to come with every HelloFresh meal. Like, there's some times where I'm like, you know, I'm just a little sick of green beans and zucchini. And then when they give you a cucumber, it's always like a wilted little micro cuke. Like, come on, man. Yeah, and stop calling them haraco ver. Like, they're green beans. You can't gussy it up just by putting it in a, in a different language for me. Okay, sorry. I, di I didn't mean to insult zucchini. I forgot zucchini is a, is a very... Well-liked vegetable. I apologize. I know that in for zucchini, I am in the uh, I'm in the minority that recognizes how overrated it is uh, compared to the the classic English cucumber. The zucchini lobby is watching. Pop it right now. Just help me out a little. I will say if there's some positive things I could say about HelloFresh. Over the course of a year cooking the meals, it's taught me a couple of things. One is, I don't dislike uh, zucchini as much as I thought I did. I thought I didn't like it. It turns out, I do like it. I just prefer cucumber. The other thing it taught me is that you can literally uh, make any sauce out of like three ingredients. It's just butter... Uh, broth concentrate, sour cream, and like garlic and shallots. And if you just put that in the pan that you cooked the the protein in, you're like, you're set. That's it. Now, will I ever do that? Yeah, on a Friday, Saturday, or a Sunday. I don't mind a pan sauce, don't get me wrong. But I just, you know, maybe, maybe this makes me... Uh, Maybe this makes me an undiscerning customer. But if you give me the choice to add extra, you know, 10 minutes to the meal. Uh, with the pan sauce or just putting like some HP sauce on like a dry piece of protein that I cooked. I'll take the dry piece of protein <laughs> with the HP sauce on top of it. I got nothing against just putting some uh, 
putting some Frank's Red Hot on something. I don't get how you're comparing zucchini with cucumber. One is sweet and the other one is edible water. So I just, before I misrepresent this for comedic purposes, I just want to ask you to clarify that in all honesty, you're asking how one could compare a cucumber with a zucchini? If that's the case, I would like you to look up a picture of both of them and the reasons they are comparable should become very clear in a very small amount of time. Zucchinis are Will Ferrell and cucumbers are Chad Smith, the drummer from the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Zucchinis are Natalie Portman and cucumbers are Kira Knightley. You know, they're not literally the same. They are distinguishable, but it takes a discerning palate. One's a melon and one's a gourd. And one is British and one's American. And yet, they do be acting as each other's doppelganger in Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace. That's all I'm saying. Okay, I guess I'll just die. Be straight with me. How do I get Holy Brim to charge even like 10% faster? You can't. It's um, a bad item. Okay, let's... Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wrong. You know what? I got an idea. It's all about the diagonal. You gotta admit, that was pretty sick. Now that I'm finally taking a second to use this item, Wait, 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 hold on. What Does tier shot make it, uh, or not tier shot, tier size up? Does tier size up make it better? You can shoot while it's shooting? Yeah, but like, I mean, the forgotten can't though. So like, I guess I'm, I shouldn't, I shouldn't throw the baby out. With, oh no, I, okay, hold on. You charge it and then you pick them up. Oh, thank you. Sure. You charge it and then you pick him up. And all of a sudden you've got like a... You're like John Cusack at the end of um, the movie Say Anything. Your music saved me. Anything. <laughs> Check that curse room real quick. Wheel of Fortune. Top five rom-com of all time. Can I be straight up with you? I've never seen it. Yeah, I don't feel it, unless I'm mistaken. I don't feel like that was Guppy. Because we didn't take Guppy's head earlier. Unless they changed it to be two items. Hello, Fresh strikes again. Okay, good to know. Good to know. But if you had taken Guppy's head, that would have been the Guppy. And now today in Isaac, you asked what the song of 2021 is. I'm here to tell you it is Driver's License by Olivia Rodrigo. Thank you. That's, I, I will put it on the list of things to, to listen to. Na, na is, is Call Me By Your Name. It's Montero.
is it pop pop that p word by DJ Funk? I'm 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 stun locked here, man. I don't think sack of sacks. The sack of sacks make coins become sacks on greedier. Nobody knows. Okay, nobody said anything, which to me means this is a reroll. I want to see. Well, actually, I think it's just good to begin with. No, wait, it's bad. My mistake. <laughs> Alas. I'm so mind flooded, dude. Like, okay, pause the enemies. That's like non negotiable. The enemies must be paused. I, I, I can't see. You might as well hit me. I, I can't see. Alright, I'm being chased by a vengeful spirit. My least successful Dota hero. Are you okay? Bro, there's a lot of stuff on the screen right now, okay? I just, I feel like I am playing more than one character at once. Let's put it that way. If only when you charge this, you could also, like, spin or something like that. Like, if you could spin, like, like Keeper's head, or uh, Krampus's head style. Which is not what the... Oh my god, Blue Ghost! Oh my god. Okay, we've at least... Time to die. Time well, we have nine lives, we have nine lives. It's okay, it's okay. Life goes on. 14 cents. There you go. Now, there you go. We just rebuild from zero. This is not like resin strategies because we don't get the extra coins. But we rebuild from zero here. This, this could be totally fine. Owns. It's okay. Every wave we we get a little closer to God's light. If we make it to, <laughs> it was hiding. If we make it to greed, and we have more than four spirit hearts, I think we're gonna win. I'm I'm not scared of the greed fight. There's so much on the screen, man. You know what I'm inclined to say? I mean, you're gonna make me say something uh, I'm gonna regret. You're gonna make me cyber bully? You already know where I'm headed with this one. If Anthony Fantano reviewed Angelic Brimstone, you know what he would say? Not good. He would say not good. And he would be right. Not good out of 10. He would give it a 7? Yeah, out of a, out of a billion. This is, this is how we win. We shouldn't have bought that yet. Did you enjoy Fantano dunking on Grimes? I have, I have to let you know, I have never seen an Anthony Fantano video in my entire existence on planet Earth. Seems like a cool guy, though. Um... I enjoy his tweets. Enjoy all the fun times we have with one another on Twitter. We're pretty much best friends. We talk uh, all the time. Just about anything, not just about music. Like sometimes he'll be like, hey, what uh, albums are you listening to lately? I need some inspiration for my videos. And I'm like, oh, bro, you got to check out... Um, Fiona Apple's Fetch the Bolt Cutters. It's a genuine 10 out of 10. And then, I mean, we all know what happened after that. We don't need to get into that, but... Owns. Yeah, every day I'm like, listen to Asia by Steely Dan. And he's like, oh, I'm more of a gaucho kind of guy. And I'm like, how about you get you out of my house unless you want to talk about Asia by Steely Dan. 
Plus two? That's what passes for a plus two these days? Dude, this may work, and this is so stupid. No, I didn't hit the button! That's alright. What's uh, life between friends? Good dodge. I, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, my brain is... is lost. Even though I'm playing as the Forgotten. Have you done boss rush with this character? I think so. Oh yeah, I've done almost everything. Just need the uh, true ending. Or, uh, yeah, true ending. Minus two? For what? Making toast in my own damn toaster? Plus two. There we go. Brought him back. Brought him back with the Libertarian uh, National Convention joke. Note to self: It's a wild card. You can get out of. You can get out of any humor jam with it. Owns. Okay. I mean, we're still we're still sending it. Oh no! <laughs> I shot. I think I broke a heart up there. I broke another one. I did not break another one. I broke one. I th okay, there's, there's still one remaining. We got him, we got him, okay. Highly owned. Charge it up, baby. Oh, come on. I, I do feel a little bit, like, super heroic here. That's pretty incredible. Okay, now that's Guppy, but you don't get to count that, okay? There is no chance you beat Greed on this one. Prepare to be ashamed of your words and your deeds. And your deeds. I honestly think, like, if we're... Don't even try it. You know what? Just for that, you get to go toe-to-toe -to -toe against The Undertaker. I think that the best item you can get in greedier mode is Brimstone. The second best item you can get is a shop with a single spirit heart in it when you have, like, more than 15 cents. extremely dominated the third best item is jello dude i gotta be honest as a kid my two favorite desserts were cut fruit and and jello i gotta be straight up with you i don't think i have working taste buds cut fruit great dessert no nothing wrong with that jello like actually what was i thinking it it has it's it has like a one out of ten flavor jello's pretty good i i this honestly i think i would rather for dessert eat nothing than eat jello it's one of those things where like one of the the things people say about it is that it's a low calorie dessert yeah that's because it 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 has no flavor. I would rather eat something with zero calories, i.e. air. I would rather have a Coke Zero for dessert. And I'm not being facetious. Okay, this is not going well. Who would have thought? Well, it's unfortunate. <laughs> it's... Dude, it's a freaking massacre up here. 
Okay, baby plum, like it's all up to you. Baby plum. You did it. Okay, this is how you play this one. Oh, that's the ticket. Okay. Oh my god, a fully charged brimstone laser. It does like freaking nothing, man. Yeah, we're gonna die. In fact, we're gonna die nine times. Or five times, I guess. Um, I'm here to tell you this is one of those runs where like... Um, when you uh, lose the first life, you close the game. Because it's not going to get any better than this. Okay, on the bright side... There is no bright side. Okay, yeah, yeah, just stay right there. Owned? Owned? This is phase one, Lamau. Yeah, but phase one is actually, like, harder. I know that sounds idiotic, but it's the truth. Phase two is is much easier, bizarrely. At least it would, from a dodging standpoint. I, I refuse to believe anybody made it out of the door. Like... You know what? Oh, I was just gonna say, well, let's place some bombs. Then I realized um, this is where I put my bombs, if we had them. Nod leaf plus daddy long legs? I don't even know, what, but what's the context? We have neither of those items. Is is the Jeopardy category what are two items you wish you had? Because if so, that I would give you full points for that one. It would be sick. You're not wrong. It would be sick. Please, just get through phase one. We're, we're dead. <laughs> that, that one... Goes out to the guy who said, just kite them and use the laser beam. Don't it simple, Sully. Just land the plane in the Hudson. Anyway, that's a slash mark.